Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today is our 11 week update. We're gonna do some morning chores. So Kaimani here is in charge of feeding the rabbits every single day. So we're gonna show you what he does every morning and then we're gonna go check on our new kits that Cash fathered. You can go check out that video. And they are a week old today. So they're getting pretty cute. They're starting to get fuzzy. Their eyes should start opening and probably four or five days. So those kits for all you people that are super concerned are probably going to end up being 4-H Christmas kits, which means they get sold to 4-Hers and they're gonna be shown at the fair. So I don't think any of those are gonna end up in the pot. So don't freak out, they're really pretty. Breeders have a separate bag because we are, of course, keeping track of what we're feeding them. So this is a new 50 pound bag. We just opened it today, which means that we are officially at $2 a rabbit for our grow outs. And they have eaten just over five pounds of food. I think it's about 5.24 pounds. I have it written down. So we're starting the new 50 pound bag. She's a pregnant doe, she's gonna get a cup. All nursing does get one cup. We give our, uh, our does extra. She's a nursing doe, so she gets a little extra. And then we've got the bachelor pad here. Bucks get half a cup, otherwise they get fat. Hey Cash, morning dude. Hey yeah, Cash. He's a fan rabbit. Yep, he is uh, probably our, our fan favorite here. In the fall, we have a lot of corn husks that come from our corn seed that we save. We sell glass gem corn. So let's show you that video up above. It's pretty cool stuff, so we don't like to waste anything, and the rabbits love the husk. You got that? The rabbits love the husk, so... They just like to tear them apart. They eat them. They uh, shred them and nest with them. So it just kind of keeps them busy. Rabbits are a um, grazing animal and they get really bored if they're not grazing all day long. So we make sure that we give them stuff to do. Chew sticks, mineral licks, things to, things to chew on like corn husks and um, Timothy. Each rabbit also gets Timothy. They get unlimited Timothy hay throughout the day. And again, they'll nest with it, they'll eat it, they'll pee on it most of the time. Just kind of keeps them busy. It's good for their teeth, it's good for their digestive system as well. And it will cut down on your feed costs. So these are three of Scarlet's. She had seven, she stomped on one, which is pretty common. I think she just gets overwhelmed with big litters. So she has killed her last four, well, I guess her last three litters, and then she stomped on one from this litter. So I actually took three of the survivors and I fostered them over to Dolly and I only left her with three. She's got a little black here a little broken, it looks like a broken lilac, and then a little harlequin like her. And she's feeding them, she's not stomping on them, she's doing a great job, so I think she just cannot handle the large litters because she refuses to get out of the box. I have to actually take the box to check on the 
Catch she sits in the box the entire time where my other does sit over top or outside of it. But she's always sat in there and I think with a large litter she just ends up squishing them. So these ones are hidden in the back and she's been doing great. So we're pretty happy to see that. Let's go uh, check on the nine that Dolly's got. So this is our New Zealand doe. We were going to do a comparison between New Zealand and Rex just to see the, the rate of growth and the food conversion rates on them. We got her 37 days ago. We're told that she was bred. However, she never kindled. So we either were not told the truth or for some odd reason she didn't take. But um, I did make an attempt to breed her with my Rex. Thought, okay, well, let's do a Rex New Zealand cross since a lot of the New Zealand cross um, make for some pretty good meat rabbits. She completely attacked our buck, our big buck, who's a little bit more experienced and a tad bit more aggressive. Um, she was lunging down for his, uh, for his parts and I didn't want to risk her injuring him to the point that he can't breed. Some really aggressive does have been known to do that. So it makes me wonder if the breeder did not get rid of her for a reason. He said he was downsizing, but she's refusing to breed. She possibly was refusing to breed for him and he just wanted to get rid of her. Um, so she might be the subject of our next processing video. I think I would rather uh, process out her since she's aggressive and not breeding and we have no real personal connection to this rabbit versus um, some of our wrecks for that video. And she's got a lot of meat on her, so I'm not just gonna give her away. So stay tuned for that. So we're gonna feed our tractor rabbits. We have four of our 11 week old rabbits. They get a cup of pellet each, which is pretty much unlimited pellet. And we will move the tractor to fresh ground. A lot of people ask about our tractor rabbits digging out the bottom. When they have a lot of fresh grazing grass, they do not dig because they are busy. Adult, adult rabbits will dig if they get bored. Uh, these guys will dig now that they're getting a little bit older if they get bored. As long as they stay on fresh pasture, we've never had them digging. We may possibly, possibly hold one back after we weigh it at 15 weeks. We may possibly hold back a doe and replace Miss Cindy Hopper. Cindy doesn't seem to really want to breed anymore, but we're going to play it by ear. This, these are her daughters. They look exactly like her. Well, daughters and son. They look exactly like her, so my daughter's considering um, swapping her out and finding her a pet home. She's been breeding for about two and a half years, and... Sometimes they've just kind of had it, and you just need to let them retire. Well, that's it. Rabbit chores are done. Well, sister's going to come out and do waters. In the wintertime, we get off of our water system, and we use water bottles, so we are not dealing with freezing, even though we're having kind of a mild fall. Nice work. Now go inside and get your studies done. Quick little check in on our quail, Quincy and Quagmire. Quincy is 13 days old. He's getting all of his feathers. Quagmire is still quite a bit smaller. They're probably girls, but my kids gave them boy names. He's 10 days old and he's getting all his feathers too, but he still has some fluff. 
So uh, the big one is starting to jump and try to fly. He's going to fly out of this box really soon. It's getting a little more obvious that they're going to need to find a home. So I'm going to probably look for people that raise quail locally because we just don't have a hutch for them. And if there were more of them, we would build a hutch. But for two, that may possibly be the same gender. It just doesn't really make sense for us right now. Um, had we had at least six hatch, we'd be building a hutch. But just for two, I think um, we may be putting out some feelers and seeing if somebody maybe wants to take them over to their farm. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are our morning chores and our little update on our quail and our, our rabbits, our two different litters. I guess we have three litters going right now, two born on the same day for cash and... Um, our 11 week old kits here. So we are only four weeks away from processing at this point and stay tuned for that. Stay tuned to see how these guys are growing. We're going to weigh them again next week. It'll be 12 weeks and then we'll decide if we're three or four weeks out. But I'm, I'm assuming with the, the rate of growth that these guys are that we're about four weeks out at this point from these guys being ready for freezer camp. So thank you guys so much for following along on the series. If you want to uh, see more videos from us go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to go back and watch this series and these guys from the get-go from the day they were bred or their dough was bred go ahead and click that series right there if you want to see some of our past videos we've got some processing recipes um how to tan hides things like that go ahead and click down there and we will see you guys next time thanks